Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borek and this is first episode of the new gameplay series of the game called Osiris New Dawn, brought to you by Phoenix Fire Entertainment. Yeah, thanks to the wicked Josh who was so kind enough uh, that he gave me, he sent me the key to the game and I am able to play the game. I w I've been watching this game very closely and since it has potential, a very great potential and it's survival game and it's space, it's like uh, somewhat Empyrean, it's not Empyrean, it's somewhat Empyrean, but anyway we're gonna to try it out and we'll see how it goes so let's hop into the game without further ado and we'll see how it goes inside the game so at the beginning as you can see we, we can choose at least right now since the game is in alpha uh, we can choose between two races uh, the outlanders the band of space pilots yeah let's go with the space pilots and we have four classes unfortunately three of them are not available just yet but scientists will do so let's customize our guy well <laughs> customization Let's call myself a Borek and let's go with the uh, standard suit. So I will see you guys uh, just in the in the game. Let's call it Ashat. The universe is going to be called Ashat and uh, uh, aliens infested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alien damage, normal health, normal resource recharge, blah, blah, blah. So I will see you guys in the Proteus 2, third moon of the Tissus Prime. Day one. So we have crash landed somewhere in the distant world where are some funky trees and the grass is blue. That is cool. And we have our suit breached, which is, of course, as usual, not good. So I think we need to patch it with our uh, fix tape, duct tape. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's check where we are. I have absolutely no idea where we are. So that's a bit of a problem. But we'll check the surroundings. So we have a multi tool to do the multitasking. Well, the multi tool thingies. Uh, I don't see anything over here, so that's kind of a suck. And so I love the sound that is boom. Oh, isn't that awesome? Okay, so let's see where we actually are. Uh, minus 14 and minus 22. That is probably. I don't know where, but it really doesn't matter. If we go east, what will change? Which one? The minus thingy, okay. Ah, I, I have absolutely no idea where we are. So we have some ammo boxes over here and some missions. Right, mission complete. Okay, so... Okay, now we have some weapons. So let's organize that shit over here. Oh, no, 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 don't put it over there, let's do this, and let's do that, and let's equip you as well, okay, so let's get going, let's get going with the rest of the mission, mission, uh, toggle V, for the camera perspective, oh, this is so nice, and look at that badass crouching position of our guy, of our lovely pirate, space pirate, okay, survival kit, find survival kit, he's going like, ooh, 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 ooh easy, the tiger, oh, okay, so we have some baked potatoes, steam cannot, Water, 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 med kit, bandage, and yeah. Okay, so let's take it. Holy shit, that was loud. What else? Find inflatable dome. Okay, so we're gonna go and get it. Uh, I guess that's it. Come on, pick it up. Uh, inflatable dome kit, complex material, amount 1 out of 1, weight 2 kilograms. Holy shit, that looks like more like 80 kilos, which is like something around 150 pounds. Kit used to build inflatable domes. Go to the structures tab in your creative uh, character menu to menu to select inflatable dome to build. Okay. Before before we do that, let's find a place where actually there's gonna be something. Oh, hello. What are you? Osiris mission personal assistant. Yeah. Cool. 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 So I guess this is our guy. I think he's our guy. So with a chisel on our in our hand, we can tell this guy to follow us I know for a fact well I've been watching some of the youtubers play this game and I know that he is slow as as, as yeah Ooh. I thought these were minerals but apparently not so I'm quite happy about this game since it runs on my PC <laughs> and it's not high-end but anyway well I don't know if mm, I don't know how many of you guys do have... Holy shit, what the hell is this? 
We have a creature over there that looks like octopusy. Well, it's not octopusy, but you catch my drift. Okay, so what, let's go and venture out a bit and let's see what we can actually find. I think they can hurt us. Oh, shoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so they do hurt us. We need to stay away, fortunately. I have uh, some things on my hot part that will help us survive. You go with me. Oh, actually, I think I can name you, rename you with a multi-tool. Open inventory, customize. Yeah, customize. So, no? Oh, nickname, B. So we're gonna be called Josh. Thanks to Josh, I do have this game. So, yes, you are gonna be my personal assistant. Hello, game. Hello, oh, oh, oh okay. So let's continue and let's see what do we have over here. What is that big tree? What does it do? Can I smack it? Will it smack me back? Hopefully not. Ah, uh, uh, I guess not. Well, okay, let's go. What do we have? Chlorine gazer. Uh, well, I should stay away from those guys and the chlorine as well since I am a chemist and I know how, how harmful the chlorine might be. Okay, so let me just see where are we going. Minus 10 and minus 19. I have absolutely no idea where should I go, but phew, it's all about exploration as well. So we might just, you know, just go there somewhere. I don't know where and I don't know which value is responsive for anything. So I guess that's north. So if we had north, the the, the number in the cent center will change but if we go this direction what will change west going west will give me like we're going no. oh holy shit you give me a fright okay so you follow me and let's go let's go this direction let's go actually east and let's see what we can find. Uh, so I know for a fact that this planet is not randomly generated yet, but I think the devs are working hard on the game and yeah. As you can see on the left bottom corner we have suit temperature and I guess outside temperature, environment temperature. So in our suit is, is, is all nice and cozy, 25 Celsius degree fortunately. It is, it is in Celsius. Oh, what is that shiny thingy over there? I don't know, but let's let's go. Let's go to the top. So that's uh, like 60 Fahrenheit, something like that, I believe. And the environment is 55, 56 Celsius degree, which is quite hot. Probably you will die uh, outside if you would be somewhere outside where there is 55 uh, Celsius degree. Okay, so there is a big and giant ass mouth something and that worries me a bit since it has a spine going over there. That's a bit scary shit. But anyway, well, yeah, let's continue. Let's go all around and let's see what this game has to offer. And since pretty much I do know what do I need to do at the beginning of the game, well, place the inventable dome, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I, you know, just want to do something different because all, all of you have seen. Oh shit, this doesn't look good. Uh, all of you have probably seen the first two, uh, one or two days of um, the gameplay, so pff, really. Uh, probably you're just not interested in placing another with another guy placing in flint balloon So let's go and let's venture and let's see what we can find Okay, so we have some deposits or deposits over there, which is titanium sweet So we will smack some titanium. Holy shit that That's that, that this doesn't look good and I do Oh fuck. Oh shit. What the hell is is that another one? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Hmm. <gasps> so we have found a crater with two spice worms from the dune. Uh, this doesn't look good. Where is that? Yeah. Hello. You, you. Dude, come here. We're going to be picking up some titanium since I think we need it. Right. So we get titanium by clicking while chiseling it away. And we need to pick up the ingots or the nodes that are actually broke off. Right, so with a multi-tool I believe we can... Yeah, 
open its inventory so let's check how much actually does it weigh so 16 titanium weighs like 0 0.4 kilograms which is more or less well less but more or less one pound that is cool there's a shitloads of titanium over there okay so let's get get few more and then i think we need to find some aluminium and iron as well so i don't know how many actually do i need to get well it's a bit loud i don't know if it's gonna be as loud for you i mean the mining and the game itself come back here come back here Okay, so let's get just another one, and I hope that's going to be enough. Fortunately, we have a drone that can carry... Ooh, what about Maybe proficiency went up. Ooh, that's quite interesting. Okay, this is a really nice and shining titanium. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, multi-tool. I don't like the fact that you need to switch weapons to give this to the guy over there. Shift click, yeah, it works. So that is grand. Okay, so where are we actually on the map? Um, we will be traveling east, I believe, because I want to check out this giant spine of the spice, uh, spice worm. And what the hell is this? Aluminium. Oh, sweet. So we are getting better and better each time. Aluminium shouldn't be that uh, um, heavy. At least it's not that heavy in the real life. I think the titanium is actually a bit lighter, but, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The alloys, we're not going to be... Well, actually, we are going to be making some alloys. So, yeah. Okay, so let's check how much does actually one node. Well, that is quite a lot. Well, no, it's a bit lighter than, uh, than titanium. As I said, titanium was 0 0.37 kilograms. So that was just over, not over, uh, a little less than one pound. And this one is 0 0.34. So it's a bit less. Okay, aluminium. How much do we got? 50 something. Okay, hello, dude, dude, come here. Come here. I'm gonna give you the stuff that we got. Okay, and let's continue. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are going eastbound. There's always some civilization if you go east. <laughs> I don't know, but this is how it's how the world world actually works okay so we have shine some shiny bits down there and i love those oh they are so big and huge and very scary to be honest but we'll be going i don't know i don't know if that's a good place to settle probably not but i don't think there's anywhere a good place to settle since there are giant monsters monsters that will eat your face but look at that isn't that beautiful so magnificent so big and huge holy shit and look at those teeth what do we have over here in this part of a crater because i believe there's a crater over there and we have some gases that looks blue and i think blue means ox oxygen i don't think we need to get any oxygen our suit should uh, fix the oxygen problem as far as I remember. And what I have noticed already is that if you have equipped multi-tool, you are going that fast. And if you have weapon equipped, weapon equipped, you are moving a bit slower. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gigantic? Holy shit. Ooh, okay. Yellow. It's all about exploration, so we might actually go here and check it out. The jaws are really humongous. And there's another one. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's continue venturing and let's see what those trees are, maybe. Let's see where do we have any... Where do we have... Uh, some resources. <gasps> oh my. Oh my. What have I seen in the distance? I will show you in just a second. Holy shit. This is really looking beautiful. And do you see that? This looks like a 
man-made buildings. So let's go there and let's check them out. And let's hope that nothing will eat our face. Holy shit, there is a worm, but that is not a worm that I should worry about. These worms, yeah, I do need to worry about. So the spawn point is like one click away from this location. But I think the best bet is just for now to go and explore it and see what we can find and where we can find it. Since we have found some titanium, I have absolutely no idea how much resources do we actually need, but... Well, I guess I'm gonna get a hard attack soon. So there is some iron, raw iron, that we need to pick up as well as far as I, as far as I know. So we might do that and get our stamina back. I don't think there's, there are any drinks that will help us with this. Dun, 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 don't roll down, don't roll down, stay here. Oh shit, the weather is actually changing and that worries me a bit since it is getting a shitly cold, to be honest. Well, and I don't see a goddamn thing. And that is bad. I guess the storm is coming. Oh shit, there is one of those octopuses. And look at the trees, they are actually moving. As the wind blows, they are moving much faster. <clears throat> okay, should we go in? Nah. Let's go towards that base over there and maybe we can do something about it. Where's that personal thingy edging that was on us? I have absolutely no idea. The storm just rolled in and that sucks. So having in, having in mind that there is a guy over there. Shit. It is scary as hell, to be honest. It is scary as hell. Well, I don't see that guy anymore. But let's continue going in this direction. Towards that big dome. Well, it's getting a bit cold outside since it's... Negative. Zero negative, yeah. So it's below 32 Fahrenheit. I have absolutely no idea if there's something lurking in the darkness. So let's go, let's go a bit faster. Maybe we'll find cover over there. I can see the other guy in the distance. I don't know where my drone is, where George go, but... Tough luck, huh? Tough luck. Okay, so... Phew. I don't know if we should be staying here, I don't know if that's going to be a great location to stay, but anyway, I think we will need to stay somewhere, at least at some point, where actually are we? Oh, look at that, are we going to build such things? Can we hide over here? It doesn't give us any protection whatsoever, but seeing those growing beds might be actually a okay. Uh, I think we have a weapon that we can shoot, and I don't know if that. Uh, it looks like it's protected with glass, but poof. unfortunately, as you can see, the game the game doesn't see it this way. Can we repair this thing, Jig? No, I don't think we can do anything about it. do we have over here? Some hangar of some sort? I don't think we can hide here either. And there is a big satellite dish. Hmm. Where do we actually need to go? Where do we want to go? Well, I can build a base everywhere I like, and it's just the amount of time that you need to spend to travel from one place to another that might actually suck. But to be honest, well, hey ho, it's not that big of a deal. We can always make another uh, inflatable dome and go somewhere else, I think. Because if we bring this menu over here, with structures and utilities, I think we can do another one. Come on. 
There's a forge and depository. Yeah, no, we can't. <laughs> we can only inflate the one that we have on us. <clears throat> right, so. Not that just the blinds, man, walk and. Really, okay, let's check out this other one. And big giant jaws over there. Let's see if we can find something. I don't see my droid, and that worries me a lot. To be honest, but I will continue going this direction <clears throat> to see what else we can find. Maybe we will find some ancient ruins of an alien race, not the race that is actually on the planet. I mean, those octopuses, giant ostriches, or whatever we can find over there, and space spice worms. But yeah, it's getting really nice. Really nice and cozy, to be honest. Soon I believe we will find we'll find a place where we can stay. I just want to you know just go out go out and see if there is anything that we should be interested in particular. But those big jaws really worry me. And they worry me a lot. Okay, so we have no these are not caves. Actually, the hydration drops relatively fast. Well, I wish I could see something. Oh, hello. There's a creature of some sort. Tumble level one. Okay, so I think we should stay away from him. This way, maybe we'll be able to survive. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Ah, damn it. No! Oof. Critical, critical suit. Oh. Okay. Your vitals are already. Oh, oh. What the hell? Oxygen empty. What do I do now? Do I die? Hope not. That would suck. What do I do now? Uh, can I fix it with a tape? No. Do I have actually anything on me? Can I drink water? Let's let's try it. Maybe this will first aid kit. I don't think that's gonna help. But maybe drinking water. Drink some water. No, you don't want to drink any water. That sucks. Maybe if the bar will go up, this will help us. Probably I just suck at this. I think we need to build some sort of a base. Holy shit, that's a bit greater. And I don't know if I actually want to build over here. But maybe if the bar refills, we will get some oxygen back. Oxygen empty. No, I don't think this will help us. So, my best bet is to actually build this thing a jig. Okay, low rotate left. Yeah, and we need to find a flat surface. God damn it. Well, the storm is passing, that's good. That is good. Well, to be honest, I do uh, kind of like this area. If I would be able to build it, to build the base somewhere around here, that would, this would be nice. Uh, I don't want to die two and a half clicks away from the actual spawn point. That would suck. Okay, game, game, just give me a place where I can build this thingy a jig. Come on. There's got to be a flat surface somewhere around here. The ground is uneven. And where is the even ground? Come on! Was it somewhere over there? Yes! Press F and hold. So let's do that. Let's build it. And let's go inside. Object built. Sweet. Now let's go inside. 
What? Have I died? <laughs> oh. Entered oxygen recovery safe zone. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a problem. But, well, at least we have survived. That's good. That is grand. Okay, guys, I think that's gonna be it for the first episode. Look at that, and it's clearing outside. Unfortunately, I have lost the drone, so that's, that's kind of a suck. I don't know where I am. I don't know if that's a good spot. Probably not, but, you know, that's just me trying to play the games and show you the, the, the alternative way of playing them for fancies, as usual. Okay, guys, so that's gonna be it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it at least a bit if you did remember you do know what to do uh, press the um, like button down below and comment about the gameplay give me some tips and tricks and tell me all about the game because well i have seen few videos but it was uh, like a long time ago um, but anyway guys i hope we'll see each other in the next episode where i will try to find a somewhere where we can stay and play the game as we should so okay guys that's it for today's episode and i hope we will see each other in the next one so till then take it easy have fun